Excuse me, Mr. Wells. I know you're the CEO and probably have more important things to do, but I just got your memo. You know, the one about how the company is outsourcing and downsizing and that if we... Well, excuse me, yes, sir, I'll get straight to the point. I quit! Yes, sir, I'm through. My happy little cubicle is free for someone new. For over 15 years when you said jump, I'd ask how high. Then you showed us how much you care and cut our benefits last July. Thank you so much for that, sir, by the way. Very generous. So I handed in my timesheets and I filed my last report. You can keep your corporate stress, because life is just too short. There are things I want to do that my career does not permit. Like take a second honeymoon, bungee jump from an air balloon, scuba dive or play bassoon. And in case I didn't mention it, I quit! Doris, Beth, Jennifer, can I talk to you all about the carpool situation? It'll only take a minute. <laughs> Thanks. I love that our kids are good chums. I think it's just great. I really do. And sharing the driving becomes a nice way to save a buck or two. But if I may, I'd like to say a teeny little something to you all. That's right, you heard me, I quit. If I have to keep pretending I like you three, I'll die a hypocrite. You women are all nut jobs and your carpool rolls just suck. Beth, I can't get car sick riding in the back of your pickup truck. And Doris, you can barely see to get them home alive. Jennifer, you're mom! It's amazing you can drive, so that's it! I quit and it feels good, I have to admit. I'm not going to miss you or your snotty kids one little bit. We'll drive ourselves and waste the gas. At least my kids will get to class. And at the risk of sounding crass, you can take your effing carpool and shove it up your ass. Honey, I know this is our seven-year wedding anniversary, and uh, well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Um, the bad news is I'm leaving you, but the good news is this. There's a smart and sexy girl, we're a perfect match, and I've got this little nagging itch that only she can scratch. I met her at the theater, shared french fries and a shake. Next week you'll get to meet her when she's on spring break. I know my timing's not ideal. I hope that you will know. It's not your look or lack of sex appeal that makes me want to go. She's just full of life and wit. It's like a fire inside me's lit. She says I look just like Brad Pitt. Oh, it takes a lot of grit, but I quit. Britney? <laughs> Listen up, Jack, because I got something to say. Baby, I'm done being your maid. Ain't gonna pick up socks from off the floor, scrub your back. And it's high time I got repaid. So, baby, go out to the kitchen and fix me a snack. I want some bonbons, some croutons, and a chocolate shake. Give me an Oreo cookie, if you please. Stuff me with waffles, falafels, and a Salisbury steak. Or you'll be getting no more nookie from this little tease because I'm queen. That's right, sugar, I quit. Let's see you do some laundry. Just gonna sit with my feet up while I'm waiting for my chili to heat up. I'm all done being your waiter. Just gonna be a couch potato. So bring me my root beer float. Give me a damn remote! <laughs> Hello, my name's Vanessa Carla. Well, that's my maiden name, but oh, anyway. <laughs> this is my first time speaking at our group therapy session. I don't know why it's taking me so long to get up here. I guess I never felt I was as screwed up as the rest of y'all. <laughs> anyway, 
Yesterday was my birthday, and something very interesting happened. Somebody asked me how old I was, and for the first time since I was probably three, I told the truth. I didn't lie. It just came out, and I can't tell you why, but it felt nice to put that ancient vice to rest. I'm going to try this out in other areas of my life. You won't believe this one. I dye my hair, and I must say that if I don't, it turns completely gray. I, these are my nails. <laughs> They're plastic tips, glued and pressed. Change my eyes green to blue. Well, I know it's getting late, so I guess I'll no wait. These are my boobs. I had them done till I got married. They were kind of fun, but I digress with all I confess to you. In short, I thought the something he'd like to say to you all. Let's see, how do I put this? I'm gay. Surprise! Your dear old dad is gay. It means I don't like Barbie much, but Ken is A-OK. -okay. I tried to be a good husband, but my neck was in a noose. And kids will still go to Disneyland, just me, your mom, and Bruce. <laughs> because I'm gay. Hooray! Throw my power tools away. I'm not exactly walking out, it's more of a sachet. Now don't be sad, it might be fun. Two dads are better than one. Now I have double the slacks that fit. Still I quit. I'll say it once again, I'm I'm gonna bungee jump and love it. Take this car, pull and shove it. Don't those shoes are simply heavy. I ran at 27. Do these thongs that make me go nuts? Gotta give me some Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, I'm gonna play a new role. And set a new goal. Change, 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 change. It's What did I come in here for? <laughs> Where did I put my keys? Why did I walk through that door? Come on, pretty, pretty please. You came to the kitchen to find something lost, something you mislaid. I know I shouldn't take smoking pot in seventh grade. Why did I come in this room? Ginkgo biloba. I dropped him on the street. Glasses, date book, or the broom. Take one pill each time you eat. 
Since 40 things aren't the same Remember to eat I'm failing here in the crunch I recall my first great principal's name But I couldn't say what I just had for lunch Something tells me this ginkgo should do it They might be on the bathroom sink And then I will have the smarts I never had uh, Is it the crock pot? Nah, nah These babies will help me get through it I'm pulled back from the brink Now I think that midlife's not so bad Come on, toaster, spit it out Oh, and maybe the hot pad Or the paper towel And the toilet You! Dish rag on the water spout And I'd like to buy a vowel I'm losing my mind, I can't say Poor circulation My God, that's it! What is I'll do some sit-ups. I'll be okay. Now, Father, what in me? What in me? Heaven? Oh, hell. <laughs> huh. Maybe if I go outside and come back in again. Where'd I leave that ginkgo pack? Did I drop it in the grass? I still don't know! Won't someone please shoot me in the head? What did I come in here for? Have I lost my way? No more nonsense, this is war! Hello gave me triple A! Oh, how did I get through last year? Last year. Don't, don't say I'm past my prime! Hey! Some bonehead left some ginkgo right here! <laughs> My God, they were in my pocket all the time! Did you get the Josh, did you get those uh, account files figured out yet? I did, but you know, it's not really my favorite thing. Well, birthday boy, once you turn 50, your favorite things will probably change a little. Well, that's true.
supposed to be your golden years, right? Maybe. Back pains confuse brains and no fear of sinning. Thin bones with fractures and hair that is thinning. And we won't mention our short drunken frames when we remember our favorite things. Bagging and greeting at Publix and Walmart. Great senior discounts at Outback and Steinmark. Check in the last box on the age scale. Someone please stop me from telling this tale. Bad <laughs> naps and long walks and volunteer labors. Medicare and gray hair and cards with the neighbors. Check in the last box on the age scale. Someone please stop me from telling this tale. When the bones ache, when your hips break, when the eyes grow dim, that's when I remember the great life I've had, and then I don't feel so bad. Six thirty means six thirty, not six thirty-three. Come on, let us in. Who's there? Come on, Ted. You know it's us. What's the password? Come on. What's the password? Depends. Okay, guys, come on in. <laughs> okay. Did anybody follow you? Come on, relax, Ted. What's the deal? Yeah, hey, hey, have you got the new Nuns Gone Wild video? <laughs> Something even better. Come on, spill the beat. Yeah, yeah, fill us in. Listen and learn, my middle-aged friends. Everybody's trying to look their best, which in today's world means looking younger. Wifey wants a lift to her chest. A <laughs> neighbor buys a pill to kill hunger. Pants and some hair, nip and tuck here and there. But if you want to turn back the clocks, well then you've got to try a shot of some frozen tax. Frozen tax? What's that? Well, you've heard of Botox, right? Well, this is like Botox times 50. They call it a facelift and a bum. Does it work? Does it work? <laughs> Your laugh lines and wrinkles go bye bye. So long to those divots on your forehead. Divots? Hello from the chick saying, my, my. John is looking so young, I hear that Walter is hung. So relax while Dr. Teddy performs. And don't forget to sign these winner forms. When opportunity knocks, open the door. It's frozen of tax. Hey, oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you even a doctor? I have a PhD. Are you sure it's safe? <laughs> Come on, it was only recalled twice, and that was in Canada. You guys do want to look younger, don't you? Is it gonna hurt? Most likely! From New York to the shores of San Diego, folks are lining up to get injected. Why complain about crow's feet or lumbago? And it's very rare for your face to get infected. I see some wrinkles coming right right here. Now, how do you feel? I can't move my mouth. I can't move my eyes. Okay, that's normal. There's some facial exercises you can do to speed up the healing process. But let me ask you a question. Seriously, do your faces hurt? No. No? no. Because they're killing me! I'm at home! <laughs> Now let's do some rapid fire facial expressions. Are you ready? Happiness. Yes. Fear. Great. Joan Rivers. Fantastic. Oh, it might feel like a 
skin is made of plastic. You can't move your tongue and all you do is drool. Your face twitches, your eyelids are spastic. But think how great you look, lounging by the pool. Dance, monkeys! To my youthful friend John, soon may you blink and water. Tomorrow you'll swallow, I think. Praise Frozen Tops for youth and for skin tight and clear. Here, here. And now let us drink, drink, drink. Have you noticed the women all have the very same hairdos they ah. had when we were in school together? Oh, <laughs> God, that not going to happen to one. <laughs> <laughs> I also noticed that the disco ball is not reflecting the shimmering glow off our wedding bands. Divorced. 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 A toast to our bastard men and their bastard ways. a couple of years to get back on my feet. I used to think that Bill and I were the lucky ones. After 18 years, our love was still alive. Then out of the blue, he said he felt confused and distraught. He said there wasn't another woman ha! till his ass got caught. He got his butt caught on something? No, I caught him cheating. together at Walmart. She was looking at a Britney Spears CD, if that tells you anything. She could be in college with our son. What did you do? Well, that's when it got really good. Later when I confronted him, he blubbered and sat there looking grim. He said he feels his sluts, his true soulmate. No! Yeah, yeah he no. said he doesn't make demands like me and doesn't want a family. She's perfect, he said. Thinks it must be faked. No, he didn't say that. Oh, yes, he did. But there's a happy ending. Fast forward to a year down the road. Oops, she got pregnant. Funny how dreams explode. Formula diapers, pediatricians. Not to mention our son's tuition. <laughs> He's not big on matrimony, but I dig the alimony. Yeah. He got what he deserves. That's what happens when you sample other ladies' orders. You want to pick some berries from the juicier vine. Just remember the older ones make more potent wine. Doesn't it? 
interviews. Not couldn't even get past the initial meeting. I thought I was broke, so I decided to try a different approach. I joined a gym and lost some weight, had doctors list and separate. Suddenly guys are trying to buy my beers. You go, girl. Then I saw an ad that caught my eye, said dancers wanted must apply. I've been stripping now for more than two years. Yes, ma'am. You've got to be kidding me. No, and all George's golf buddies and co-workers are stuffing twenties in my G-string. Drove him nuts. <laughs> are in the hall, but I'm still sliding up and down my door. He got what he deserves. You gotta keep a woman down, she's gonna use her curves. Don't bother picking battles cause you know you're gonna lose. You wanna keep us happy, just buy us diamonds and shoes. How's it going? Pretty good. You? Hungry. Cranky. Hadn't had any coffee yet. Oh, me either. Physical? Yeah. You too? Yeah. 
I know it's kind of silly, but I still get nervous just thinking about it. I hear you. At our age, you never know what they're going to find. You're not kidding. I don't mind his stethoscope, though as cold as ice. And I don't mind it when he checks my ears or inspects my head for lice. I don't care about my thinning hair or my ever-growing guts. But I don't like it very much when he sticks his finger way up in my butt. <laughs> Bother me, I just look the other way. And being in that plastic Dixie cup kinda of brightens up my day. Or even if my cholesterol's high and he talks of heart transplants. But when he snaps that rubber glove, you're gonna squirm and maybe crap your pants. <laughs> I wish that we could skip the lovely trip up to Hershey Highway. Da dum, da da dum, dum da dum. Talking about sports, then bam, he's in your shorts and a sneaky and sly way. Da da dum dum dum. Last exam, I was sore for weeks. You must be very lonely. I'll hang a sign across my cheeks that says, Not an entrance. Exit. Getting tetanus shots or a pulmonary test And I kinda like that EKG with electrodes on my chest But when he gets the KY out, you'll learn what prison life's about <laughs> So before you check my prostate plan, can you buy me lunch or hold my hand? If he does it wrong, don't correct him when he's probing in your rectum And you, you should know I don't want to know, so you go! No, no, you go! No, no, you, you were here no, first. Please. It's fine if you go. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah, you, you came in here and it, it, it wouldn't bother me. Hi! Dr. Wilson had an emergency, and he won't be able to see you today. But I'm Dr. Anderson. Who's my next patient? You're the doctor? It's the top of the thing, not one 
sound has he heard till his soul made goes like this. I am so bloated. She sweats and she boots and she wears winter coats. She went from Porsche to broken down to big. Hey, Magicals, you're not helping at all.
Excuse me? First time here at the park. Oh, is it that obvious? <laughs> Does this ever get any easier? Once you start bringing them out every day and they start recognizing each other and making friends, it gets much better, I think. You just hope they don't have an accident or get confused or something. The staff keeps a really good eye on them. Is that your dad over there? Yeah. He's cute. Thanks. <laughs> He's a handful. That's my mom over there. Oh. Was she a dancer? No, she just really likes that leotard. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dad over there. Oh, in the robe? That's the one. <laughs> you know, it's good that they're outside enjoying the fresh air instead of being cooped up watching television all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I never thought I'd be arranging play dates for my parents. Yeah. It's great to have a support system like this. If I had to take care of him and my kids, I'd go nuts. Well, there's no way. I'd be in prison by now for pushing her off a bridge. <laughs> How far along is he? Pretty far. My father still does chores from day to day. It's his job to bring the mail in from the box. Although it's good, he has a role to play. Last week he did it wearing only socks. <laughs> when he finished with his chore, he walked in the house next door. took him home and upped his medication. Thank God for medication. Now they just need to develop a pill for the caretakers. Oh, they already have. It's called a martini. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we're in the same boat. My father used to wander off like yours. But usually he kept his trousers on. So we put some handy sensors on the doors. We did that too. But he slipped out of a window in the jar. Two days later, still adrift, we found him thumbing for a lift, saying he had to be to work by 7.30. He retired 12 years ago. from my mom, no matter what was going on in the world, she'd always try to find something to laugh about. <laughs> my mom still loves to laugh, still to this day. And now she laughs at anything at all. But when she does, her bladder has its way. Left a puddle in the gap. She won't ring the call. She's done it. There's no denying. So we just laugh. It's better that than crying. And so.
toss you in the air To tie your shoe To throw the ball I made a pact with my kids that I'm going to take up skydiving. That way, if I ever forget to pull the cord, it's over. <laughs> they won't have to see me like this. Let's go. 